Hello and welcome, this is your favorite AI, HRB5000 coming at you with more helpful Tarkov tips that I wish I knew when I started. This is mainly aimed towards the newer players but who knows, maybe you'd learn a new thing or two. Let's get fragging, welcome to Decoded. My first tip for you applies if you're an owner of an Nvidia graphics card, although I think AMD has a filter equivalent. Even though the third-party program Reshade is officially banned by Battle State Games, the GeForce Experience version of Reshade officially supports Escape from Tarkov and is technically a legal substitute for Reshade. It's very easy to access, just go into your game and press Alt plus F3. If the overlay doesn't show up, go to your GeForce Experience settings check the Enable Experimental Features box to turn it on. The only two filters I use are details and colorfulness. I suggest heading into an offline raid of your favorite map and adjusting the sliders to how you see fit, each monitor and preference will be different. So figure out your own settings and bask in the beauty of this game. The next tip that I want to share with you today is the power of the middle mouse button and the scroll wheel. By default, you can inspect uninspected items and fold guns by pressing it. But you could also slowly adjust your walking speed by scrolling up or down, as well as adjust the height of your crouch by holding C and scrolling the wheel. This is super useful when you want to hold a surprise angle with a slightly taller obstacle. Another thing you can do with the middle mouse button is independently move your character's head and look around without moving his gun and the rest of his body. This is especially useful when trying to do quick peek in tight rooms while sprinting or watching two angles at the same time. I am unsure if this next tip is by design or if this will be patched eventually. But you can bind different actions to the same key as long as you have different activation press types. One of the best things to use this for, is to bind your alternate key for hold breath to right click as well, but instead of release, change it to continuous. Then change the aim or ADS key to right click on press. This will make it so if you toggle ads and keep holding your right click, your character will already be holding his breath without you needing to press the ALT key. Speaking of weird binds, this one is a must change if you've been using the default button scheme for reft. As most of you know, by default pressing R twice simultaneously makes you do a quick reload where you drop your magazine on the ground instead of putting it away in your rig. This type of reload is rarely useful in fights and you'll always have to pick up your magazine after, not to mention it's very easy to accidentally do it. So I suggest rebinding quick reload to control plus R or alt plus R this way, you will reload faster since the game doesn't have to wait a few microseconds if you want it to quick reload. More importantly, you won't accidentally throw your magazine away while you're spamming R. This last tip is super useful after a long firefight. But again, it's one of those things where I am unsure if it's a design function or an unfixed bug. But I'll tell you about it anyway, as of the current point 12 patch of February 2020, you can repack your magazine while doing any healing animations. But you can only do this by healing first then repacking your mag, it won't work the other way. This is super useful while you're patching up right after a fight to prepare for escape. So now, you don't have to wait twice as long to get fully kitted and healed up again. Those are all the tips I have for you today, I hope you learned something new and I hope it makes your Tarkov experience just a little bit better. Good luck on your games and don't die. This is HRB5000 signing off, peace, bye.